If you're going to spend on this game, spend responsibly. Use the Aptoid App Store. It's got all the best in-game purchases. They fight for market share with Apple and Google. That's why they offer these discounts. Use promo code MUSH5 and information of how to download this is in the description to the video as well as in the Discord. Hey everyone, welcome back to Legend of Mushroom with Genghis. So we got Ship Showdown. It's starting tomorrow, so I'll learn way more about it when I actually play it. I've done some videos on it, uh, but I'll learn more when I play it and then be able to do a little bit of a breakdown for you guys. Today I want to talk about the comment section of my video earlier today about profit sucking, mages sucking. And I don't know if people are trolling me or... If I just, you know, I've never come across people who are really good at profit before and had this advice. I tried it. They say, like, my stats suck. I suck. That's why it sucked. So let's go through the comments, and I'm going to try it again. I'm going to take some of the advice in there. I don't claim to be the person who knows it, the game the most. What I do know is that it didn't work for me. It was bad. Just for some reference before we go to the comments, like, my character is pretty good. 92% Counter-Strike, 76% Crit Rate. I know this isn't my profit stats, but it shows you like the stuff I can do. I could easily switch that to, to have all the different stats that a profit would have. My Souls, I think I had this one, the skill attack at uh, 30, level 30 when I was playing profit. So the people who were saying my skill was low, okay, it could be improved because I, I know that I didn't put... Uh, this skill all that high i went for more of an all-around build on here but i did have skill damage uh i think it was up around like 15 or 16 i think maybe it was uh, a little lower and hp and defense was up there my stun was 28 percent they're saying that i need to have it 45 to 50 anyways let's get to the comments let's see all the stuff that they said and we can flip back and forth your stats are awful for profit Stun for profits who don't suck is around 45 to 50. I was at 28%. And if we look at my gear for uh, wizard here, let's go to my wizard gear. Everything has stun. So I'm not sure where else I would get it except like enchant enchantment. Like stun, stun, stun. Everything has stun so far. And lots of skill crit in there as well. So... Yeah, uh, I guess I got to double that somehow. In Sia server, late game profit are so strong with good builds, you just need to pump up your attack and skill damage. Maybe three attack and two skill damage on your statue. Also, don't focus on getting stun attributes on your gear. Go for skill crit and go for low CD skills. So I've seen some videos uh, of like one shot kills. Of profits doing this now i assume when they don't get that heavy st skill crit on the skills it, the battle doesn't go quite as well well if they're loaded up on that i'm looking for more of a sustainable build where i just control the battle and beat people very easily and i couldn't find that so i will try it again with the very high skill part one thing i will say in my build my let's uh collect these so we don't get them stolen one thing I will say in my build was it was so two global attack. This pal damage was not there. I can't remember what it was. It was, uh, I think it was an S of something else. I've since been spinning it because uh, sometimes you got to do stuff for lucky spinner and whatnot. And then I had two triple S crit resistance. I could change that. Uh, try it again. Let's see what else we got here. And with Dragon Back Accessory is OP with the Prophet. And when the Crescent Moon mount comes up in your server, then Prophet will be unstoppable. Can pretty much kill 10 million power above yours. If I could start killing 50 million warriors, I will be very happy. I do have the Dragon Back Accessory. So let's look at it and why they say it is OP for uh, Prophets. So here it is. Every 11 seconds, you'll deal 2,000 skill damage and then 800 of other stuff and makes the target 4% more skill combo counter damage, stacking up to three times, triggers at the start of the battle. And uh, yeah, so I guess we'll try it. 
Uh, I think that was what I was wearing, or I was flipping back and forth between that and the immunity one. Um, I tried everything. Like, I tried every single combo I had. Why not go for crit resistance in artifact enchantment since you're low on crit rate? You're not going to benefit much in crit damage. Crit resistance in the artifact enchantment. Um, my artifacts are very heavily geared towards uh, Warrior because that's what I've been playing. I did uh, have some that are pretty compatible though. Like here you can look, it has skill crit damage 13%. And uh, some of the other ones, this one, I'm not sure what I was wearing in all of them, but most of them do have some skill stuff in there. Obviously, like skill damage, that's resistance, uh, global attack, 9% at the bottom there. Um, I, obviously, I could perfect some stuff if I really, really bought into the mage, but that was an experiment and it didn't go well. And try using bat spell, bro. It's effective, bro. Um, I think in Soul 2, you don't need that much crit damage. Yeah, Betty Trace is amazing for PvP, Betty Trace, with Cloud Mount, because it keeps the stack up the whole fight and does immediate damage after Blitz goes down. So, uh, a further comment that we're going to get to, someone did have a really good suggestion, and I am going to try this. So, they said... Uh, if we go, where are we going here? We're going evolution. Evo Why is it not uh, showing me evolution? Here we are, class, evolution. So if we go to profit, um, there's some skills in here where it says uh, prolong active skills, active skill regen, this active skill regen also. So one guy says what you should do is speed up your attack so it brings your cooldown less and Pick skills. Bat was one of the ones that I was kind of looking at if I did it again. But uh, pick skills that have, so like this, 12 seconds. That have the slime, I think, is another one. So that have low cooldowns. And that way, Crimson Moon, they just keep coming up. And you keep getting all that extra skill attack. Because that's what you want to do with... Uh, Basically, with the mage, the guy was saying, is you just want to be launching skill after skill after skill, even if they're not the strongest skills. You want low cooldown. I use stun, skill regen gears, stuns, launch, basic attack, and res, resistance on rune stones. Pell damage should be 1,000 above. HP, 25 million, full attack statue. Panda is a must in the pals. Skills, go for debuffs with low crit damage. So uh, let's look at the pals that he said. He says Panda is a must. So Panda does HP regen 35%. So I think I'm getting a little bit of uh, conflicting advice. Some people are going super heavy skill and just try and shut those people down right away. And this would go more into the live long. I did try Panda a lot. I also tried Pepe a lot. Like I probably did over 500 battles of all different stuff. Tried to go more of a healing route, more of an attack route. I did change around souls while I was practicing this as well. And uh, none of it really seemed to help. Um, I guess I got to get stronger. One guy says I need to be 45 to 50 million. But that's all relative, right? Like, I'm 42, 43 million, and that's number two or three on my server in power. So not sure 45 isn't like a magic number where it's really going to make a difference. It's really about who you're facing, and we'll see. So watching this was painful. I had to comment. As a 37 million prophet, I have no problem killing 43 million warriors. And my fight doesn't last nearly as long as yours. I wish I had your tankiness. You need more skill damage. And it's best to use cloud mount against warriors. And you're on the wrong side of the sorcery tree. Go the attack path in get the skill damage. Stun is useless unless you can get it over 30%. Same with the fox pal. Uh, okay, so I will try and get my stun much higher by looking at my enchantments uh, when I do it again. I was using Cloud Mount. I used Cloud Mount almost exclusively in all of my tests. 
Uh, I did try dragon mount also, but uh, I was going cloud mount a lot. Wait until you discover the forbidden mage build. Warriors melt. And here, yeah, me and the other guy are like, tell us about it. Love to know about that uh, forbidden mage build. But um, bro doesn't know about the blitz build. Man, if you're talking about the blitz skill, I was using it. I wasn't using it. I tried everything. I tried it with combos and not and uh, anti combos where I was using mounts that go with blitz and don't go with blitz. And uh, yeah, and back accessories also. Uh, you only have 560% skill damage. You need more. I have 860 with my 30 million mage without awakening. Think with your 41, you need to have over 1,000. So I'm going to try mage again. I'm going to give it an honest go and take all that advice and see what I can do with it. Any of you guys who did comment, like the Blitz build guy or the Forbidden build, share it. Send me, uh, join the Discord, send me a private message. My email's on the account. Let me know if you don't want it out there. And uh, I'll give it a go. I'm going to switch after reset because I'm going to get promoted and I don't want to risk you know, my warrior builds really good and I don't want to risk not getting promoted. So once that's over, I'm going to go there. Can't wait to get the Crimson Moon uh, mount if uh, that's what it is. If, uh, you know, we don't have it, we can't see it yet. Looking here, it's not even here yet. So I'm thinking... I will experiment a lot more. I will use the obviously the cloud one, but I am going to try a little bit also with the magic carpet and a combination with the eye of the raven, which would give me eight or give me two extra skills all the time. But I will focus more on the cloud drifter, and I'm going to focus really highly on skill. Uh, one thing I was, I've already been looking at it and what I will do looking at the different advice. So there is the one thing here where you do have to make a choice on sorcery. You do have to decide between skill crit damage and skill damage. I'm going to go skill damage, but I will look at what I have for enchantments. And also another key thing that happens for us at reset is we will get prayer statue uh, event. So I can redo my statue completely. Go five global attacks, just like they said. If there is, I think there is a skill crit in there as well. And uh, I'll look at playing around with that a little bit also. But I will try and go five global attacks. Anyways, always looking to learn in this game. I hope you guys are serious and it wasn't trolling because I would love to make an awesome mage and share it with people and let people know basically how to do it. If people do offer me secret hidden advice and they ask me not to share it, I won't share it. I'll show them basic stuff that I came up with on my own, but leave a little bit to their imagination. Anyways, and some is random too, right? Like people can't copy your enchantments. Like that's random. You just, it's all luck in there. So anyways, like, subscribe, leave a comment.